Hi everybody and welcome back. Now in a previous example, we specified a particular item that was out of stock. So we specified that pens were out of stock. But as I mentioned, there will come a time when we're able to pull in our out of stock items from another list. So in this example, we're going to use two lists. A list of items in our shopping cart and a list of, and a list of out of stock items. So as you can see here, I've started off with some comments and I've created two lists. So go ahead and create those lists now. Okay, in the example to come, each item in our shopping cart is checked against our list of out of stock items. So let's take a look at how we do that. We have our two lists. Our first list is our in stock items and our second list is our shopping cart. So as you can see here, our user has requested orange post-its, which is not in our in stock list. So let's get the meat of our code of our program running. So for item in shopping cart, inside the loop, we first check to see if each item our user wants to buy is in stock. If item in, in stock, if the item is in stock, we print a message like in the last lecture, which tells the user that we are adding the item to their list. Print adding plus item plus to your order. Okay, perfect. Close that off. Else print, sorry, plus item plus open double quotes is not in stock. Close that off and we finish up with a print statement. Print your order is complete. Okay, there we go. So let's have a look at what we've done. First, we've created an in stock list which contains three items, blue pens, paper and staples. Next, we have our user's shopping cart and they've opted to buy blue pens, paper, staples and orange post-its. But as we know, orange post-its are not in our in stock list. In our four block, we have four items in our shopping cart. So for each item in our shopping cart, do the following. If the item is in our in stock list, print adding the item to your order. Else, so if the item is not in our in stock list, print sorry, item is not in stock. When our four block is complete, we run our print statement here, which says your order is complete. So let's save this and then run it. There we go, adding blue pens to your order, adding paper to your order, staples to your order, sorry, orange post-it is not in stock, your order is complete. Perfect. So there we have an example of how we can use multiple lists in our programs. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next lecture.